And so as we look at those processes, I want to just ask a question. Has anybody ever been to a zirconia manufacturing facility? Raise your hand if you have. One, okay. Mind if I ask you where you went? Uh, in Los Angeles, Palladium at one point, they were manufacturing. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, I don't hear that one too often. Nice. Um, and so did you see, you saw like big pieces of equipment, I think, right? Large presses. Okay. And so that's pretty normal. That's how the industry in general does it. Um, and so it's called, just in a general term, dry compaction. And so this is a part of that process, an isostatic press. And so when they do this, they get a zirconia from, you know, a, a zirconia manufacturer, a powder manufacturer. So they get it out of the box and, you know, basically open the box and then put it in the machine. And, um, and then it gets pressed. And when it's pressed, uh, it's got to have um, a binder in it, as we're referencing here. And that's like the glue, right? When you have powder that you're putting together, if you press it without the binder, it just kind of falls apart again. And so they press it together with the binder, hold it together. And these um, particles that they use as they're pressing it are about 50 micron. So 40 to 60 micron is the average. And so that's, that's the normal size of them. And, and that'll be important as we uh, discuss this and what that means. But as we talk about the binders, um, uh, when you were there at, at Taladium, do you recall big sintering ovens? They had, like, they do pre-sintering, right? Have you all heard of pre-sintering? And so usually around 1,000 degrees. And so they um, press into the disc shape or the block shape, whatever it is. And then they put them into sintering ovens, usually for, for a few days. Um, and so the sintering ovens you saw above them, they had big hoods. And that was to let the binder escape. It's a toxic material, uh, toxic for the environment, and, and it, it burns out and leaves pores. And so... Um, so with dry compaction, you have to use a binder to keep the zirconia together. Um, and so the downside of the binders are that it lowers the density of the disc um, so that you mill the, the restorations larger, right? That, that enlargement factor. Does anybody uh, off the top of their head remember what uh, their enlargement factor is on their disc or what they see generally? Like one point something, right? So Jeff, yours is like 1.19, 1.2. Most of the time, they're like 1.23, 1.24, a little higher. And so that's what I'm talking about is that difference. And so that's how large it has to be milled before it shrinks down. And so generally with this method, it's got to be larger. And so that can introduce uh, lower accuracy as it's shrinking down. So uh, uh, the margin of error is different. And then it can reduce the translucency in relation to the pores that are created as the binder burns out. 